Keeping a Health Summary This is Pat and her daughter Darcy. Pat is putting together a health summary about her daughter. Like most families, over the years Pat has collected lots of documents and paperwork about her daughter's medical care. She's also kept a timeline with dates of important medical events and a list of health care providers. This is my black book. This is the book that I brought with me to each and every appointment. Um, I have mounds and mounds and mounds of paperwork um, and files, but if I needed a date real quick or a certain procedure, it's in my black book. So this is actually 24 years old, dog-eared and torn, and it's got many editions. Um, you can see even newspaper clippings, um, the different things, all her doctors are noted here. So this is to me the book of all books. But um, when it came time to transition, um, I needed something that was a little bit more professional looking and, and actually um, something they could use. Many families keep a diary or notebook, or they set aside a file cabinet for medical records. Parent to Parent of New York State has created a healthcare notebook online that families can use as a template for organizing medical information. The notebook is available in both English and Spanish. The healthcare notebook is comprehensive and includes tabs for archiving school records as well as medical and insurance data. It is very important to keep all this information. However, during most health encounters, time is limited. Therefore, Pat has learned to prioritize information about her daughter that she presents to doctors and agency staff. The information she shares is current and succinct. I would recommend this to any parent um, to have your files ready to present to um, an interested resident. Residents. Um, all her case histories of her um, audiologist appointments, her neurologist, endocrinologist, um, this is beside the GP, uh, allergy, uh, orthopedist. It's best if you had the latest copies, um, you can present it to the board with a residence. This is time consuming and maybe um, not even doable for many families, just so time consuming. Um, there's certainly a need to keep track on. This again, ideally, it's a great thing to present um, to an agency, but what you're talking about, the, the concise, consolidated three or four pager is ideal. Um, you can give it to any uh, doctor, any agency, any residence, any day have, and they can get the feel of the individual by reading three pages, and they will do it. Something like this too is um, not as, I think, readable to people who have limited amounts of time but a three or four pager would do it. It's a, like a cheat sheet of my kid. Darcy's pediatricians have helped Pat to summarize Darcy's complex medical history as Darcy transitions to a new group of adult healthcare providers. Starting at age 14, Pat and Darcy's physicians have reviewed and updated Darcy's transition information form. This form has helped guide the transition process. The transition information form provides information that is current and succinct. It lists management suggestions for emergencies as well as for preventative care. The transition information form is a tool that promotes health information sharing and transition planning. Sample forms are available at www.healthytransitionsny.org.